Go back to the start around 2010 when I arrived at Mansano, there was just nothing known about FMD. It was uh, probably not a rare disease, but certainly uncommon. And there'd been multiple studies before that that had tried to use a, uh, a classic genetic approach by taking DNA and studying DNA, and they hadn't worked. So with Jeff Olin and his you know, clinic of all his patients, me with my um, PhD MD background and running a vascular biology experience, we partnered up and started this Define FMD study. And the, the way we conduct the study is different to the other studies being done in the genetics of FMD so far, and that we're studying these fibroblast cells. And there's good reason to suspect that these fibroblast cells are the disease-causing cells in fibromuscular dysplasia. So from a small skin biopsy, it's a two millimeter biopsy, the same technique a dermatologist uses to biopsy a freckle or a mole. We can get a piece of skin from that skin. It takes about six weeks to grow fibroblast cells out from a piece of skin. And then we're studying the genetic pattern, the genetic profile of the fibroblast gene expression in FMD patient cells versus healthy control cells. And we've now enrolled 270 total subjects, which is about 135 FMD patients, about 135 matched controls. And we're well into studying the differences between the genetics of these two populations from patients versus controls. We've already done the first analysis and, and the, the first key, the first milestone for us was to actually figure out if this approach was going to work because we didn't know until we started analysing the data whether we'd find anything at all. So it's quite possible that we'd look at all these genes and find there's absolutely no difference between the patients and the, and the matched controls. Um, we've done this analysis now, we've, we've quantitated all these genes in the cells and found several hundred genes that are different between the patients and between the controls. So that was that we found that about 18 months ago and that was the first real signal that this approach to the disease of studying these fibroblast cells from a skin biopsy might be a very valid way to go looking, looking at the disease. So since we've, we've determined that there is some differences in these genes and these characteristics of these cells from patients versus controls, we've now gone on to more sophisticated analyses of these different patterns of the disease genes. And we're looking to try and understand how these genes work together in the disease versus the patients to, to try to get to the core biology or pathology of FMD. It's a very long and difficult process. The analyses are very complicated, and we don't, we actually don't work with statisticians. We actually work with mathematicians that do all this sort of complicated programming in computer languages that I don't even understand. Uh, and their analytic time is about one year to construct these ways that these genes work in the patients versus the controls. So. Well, our first analysis was of the first 100 patients that we enrolled into the study. To do a properly uh, f uh, an analysis that has the adequate statistical power to really get to the core of the issue, you need about 400 subjects. So our first analysis is the first 100. We've now enrolled 270, and we need to get to 400. So at this stage, one of the main focuses we're pushing on is just extending the study to get to 400. So we need another 130 subjects, cases, controls to complete the full enrolment so we can really task ourselves with the, the you know, getting to the bottom of what causes fibrosis dysplasia. The, the patient support of the research has been phenomenal. I mean, our study is, you know, we're asking a little bit more people than just the blood draw. It's, a, you know, literally, I, joke it's flesh and blood and uh, but people have been only too willing the, it's a tiny biopsy if there's any people interested in participating in the study it's, it's critical that you know we're not going to discover anything if people don't buy into these studies and, and, and help out so if anyone's interested in participating we're only too willing to review your data and potentially enroll people into the study it does involve because we have to process these skin samples it does involve coming to see us at Mount Sinai we can't do it without you coming to the clinic. But if, any, if anyone really wants to contribute and be a part and be involved, we're only too willing to include them if they fulfill the criteria. Is that